This is a Freedom Tracks. I just received it a couple days ago. I've been at it once before testing. I just want to do a little demo to show you what it does. The purpose of it is to give someone in a wheelchair maneuverability uh, off-road, whether it be through sand, stone, sticks, the woods, uphill, downhill. So I'll show you how I get mounted in it. When I ordered it, I told the manufacturer the size of the wheelchair that I'm in. He built it, fitted for that, and there's another video I have that shows, shows it un, getting unpacked so you can see what it was like whenever it was shipped. But it comes with a remote control here that gets wired. I'm going to keep this off for now. Then when I go to get into the uh, Freedom Tracks, after I get into it, I will put it back on. It connects into this wire that will be just in between uh, my two at my ankles. Uh, to prepare for it, let me set this off to the side and then just put the ramps down because you'll see the way you get on it is from the front to the rear so you back onto it so I'll put these down and move the, the straps off to the side and I'll push these out the whole way because this is what coat this is what holds the front caster down I'm gonna push this off to the side make sure everything's out of the way and I'm just gonna back onto it now it's a little tricky backing onto it takes a little bit of you getting used to so I may not get it done the first time I'll just come up to it here and try to get lined up straight. And then once you're straight, just kind of go for it, lean back, and, uh, and give yourself a push backwards. So here we go. And once I get into it, my front casters are still pointing to the rear. So you see here, I'll straighten out the caster. And now that I'm into it, the chair fits perfectly in it. I've got the back stop here up against the back. Excuse the dog. And then I've got the tie down for the caster sits here. So I start out just by putting this over top of the axle on the caster. Then this goes through a hole here. I'm sorry. Let me start that again. It comes from the front to the rear. So I'm going to go front to rear. Slide this in. Put this through this slot here. Up. There's a hole here for it to go through. So I'll just go through this. And then pull up. Now what this has done, it's held my caster down to the ground so it can't come up. Then I pull this up tight like this, pull this back, you want this to come all the way back, and then just hook it on your, on your chair. So that's the first one. Let's go over to the other side. On the other side here, my caster's pointed forward. I'm gonna bring this from the front to the rear. Slide this in, pull this tight, And pull that tight. So now my front end is really tight down on the on the uh, Freedom Tracks. Pull this up, hook it onto this, and again you want this to come forward. You don't want that to still be hanging down. So this this is pulling tension on it and keeping it up. So now that everything is in, the chair is mounted good. I'll take my remote control, reach through here, find the wire that it connects to. It's laying on the ground there. I see it. So pull the wire up, make the connection. Now that I'm connected, come over to my other side <clears throat> with this remote. It has a clamp here that allows me to clamp it to my chair. So I can clamp it on right here. And then once I get it clamped on, just tighten it down here. Now that it's tight, the remote sits there like any normal power chair remote does. Power on. And then you have your controls here for each. I'll go ahead and power it on. So let me power on. And we're going to see the amount of battery on my charge. And this light indicates the speed. I can lower it down to a really slow speed. I can raise it up to a walking, to a walking speed. I call it a walking speed because if somebody's walking with you, this is about the speed they're walking when you go full speed. 
really slow would get you a lot more power to go over some rocks or some terrain. Now with it powered on, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go over some rocks. So let's just go over here to where we have a little bit of rocks. So I'm at about mid speed right now. This is mid speed. I'll speed it up to full speed. This will be full speed. Okay, uh, I'm going to come over to these rocks over here. Get in front of me. And we're going to go over here and try to go over some terrain. Alright, so here we have some rocks. You can see it's not that it's that hard to do these rocks, but I wouldn't want to do them in a manual wheelchair. So I'm just going to go ahead and go right over the, this and uh, show you a little bit how it goes. I'm at about mid speed. No problem at all. The tracks are taking it really good. I have to go at a speed that I can handle and hold my balance. So that's just a real basic test. I think that if you had to go over sand uh, or any other big obstacles, I've already tried it on the hillside. Really easy to go up and down hills. Uh, really easy to go over sand. And uh, I think it'll handle any obstacle I need to point it toward.